Welcome back, everyone, to a whole nother episode of King of Retail. Thank you guys for checking out the video today. Oh, ooh, gets me all going, right? Uh, yeah, so from last episode, uh, there's some good comments. Uh, some of you guys were nervous to watch it. I hope everything went swell in the last episode. Uh, things, yeah, things are apparently get really hectic in high traffic areas. Someone commented as, as well. Uh, also, someone commented that maybe not having a salesperson is necessary. Maybe not. Maybe so. Um, but another person even commented, if you are going to have a salesperson, maybe only in like the late afternoon hours, like the last four hours of the day, which is valid because I think the full eight hours is unnecessary because the first four hours is not really bumping as much. So maybe I'll adjust the hours there. Uh, people are saying they're from Portugal, huge fan of the series. That's awesome. Now the person went on to say that they were, um, they came over from another series and uh, now they checked out this game and they ended up buying this game because they thought this, this series in this game was so well, and, or I mean, so good. So it's awesome to see people coming from different series and kind of collaborating and coming back on coming to King of Retail, coming to other games, whether it be King of Retail, Prison Tycoon, um, and getting the urge and the influence to, to purchase these games and have fun themselves because I'm having a lot of fun with them. And if you like this kind of genre and thing, I'm sure you guys would like it as well. Um, also, there's been suggestions on maybe changing hours of the clothing store, which definitely could uh, be be something as well. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah. So that that's that's a lot of a uh, lot of lot of good things to see here. So yeah. So today's episode is going to be a little bit different um, in the sense of hang on a sec. In the sense of I am running this episode on a different resolution. I'm testing out another way of recording, maybe to see if it looks better or if it's cleaner um so if the resolution is too dumbed down for you in this episode i completely get it uh, i'm just testing something out in this video if it doesn't look any way different or anything good if it looks better than before then even better right um but i am testing something out today as you know or as i'm now you know <laughs> eighty five hundred dollars 195 days have been played here in our store so yeah i think this is going to be a very good day today why why do i feel like it's going to be a very good day because I, i'm not afraid i'm not afraid anymore right i'm not afraid i feel like we're in we're in a good area we are technically still losing money every day but i think we're going to do swell uh today we're going to start out our episode at the grocery store we haven't been there in nine days and i think this is going to be needed we need to get that extra boost that modifier um into our grocery store as we continue to work on our clothing store but um, I think this gives us a chance to kind of like see, hello, hi, reminisce, right? We haven't been here in a couple episodes, I feel like. Um, it's always good to come back. This store, you know, it almost feels complete, but I feel even to myself, it's still far away from being complete. I feel like there's a lot more um, improvements that could be made here for sure. Eventually, right? Eventually over time. Um, who knows? Maybe this store, you know, the idea is I want to have this store to always be a grocery store. I, I want the concepts to be what they are like a clothing store an electronic store a grocery store for now right in the future that could definitely change i could do like a clothing i could do a walmart right a walmart where it's clothing electronics and food you know um it'd be kind of cool to have like four concepts i know i i don't know you, you can't have four concepts but if you could have four concepts i think that'd be really cool to have you would have at least uh one of every each type and then you would have like the last concept the ultimate type or something i don't know anyways i'm just here to just see how this store operates mo mainly i'll be honest with you tyrell is in a terrible mood right now so his ass might get canned not canned but his ass might be sent home very soon and you know that's gonna put a little extra money in our pockets i did hear a bling go off so someone just got an upgrade i think that might have been tyrell uh i can't remember if Tyrell is the daily manager here or not. Don't know that for sure. But that is okay. Let's go ahead and get our meat on. Let's get our pizzas on. Sounds good. Very good. All right. We'll do a little bit of this action. Yeah. So also another person commented. They said, uh, hey. And they said, hey. One, they were wondering if I had done any of the work zones, right? And, um... I don't know if you know, but anybody, anybody, uh, if you play King of Retail, if you have King of Retail on Steam, anybody can really opt into the beta of King of Retail. Um, 
anybody like you don't have to be anybody special so if you wanted to at home feel like i i, I want to try the work zones and i want to try that out you can opt into the beta uh 100 for free right now um on steam you gotta it's, it's a little bit weird it's a little bit weird i can show you guys how to do it potentially in, in a video um just let me know let me know the only downside is and this is the person asked or like have you done that or have you you know have any experience about it and i said no and honestly i'll be honest with you guys i one night this was a couple weeks ago i almost almost decided to bring the beta into this let's play series um so there was going to be working zones. I was like, you know what? I think it would spice it up if we add working zones to this to this Let's Play series. series. Kind of give it a go and try it out and test it out. Very, very close. Then I read the fine print in the Discord, in the King of Retail Discord, where there was issues. A lot of people were having issues where they were playing the beta in the working zones and all that, and it started to corrupt people's save files. As soon as I saw that, I was like, uh, nope. I was not going to risk it. I was not going to risk it for the series. I said to myself, I think once working zones finally do and are implemented into the game, that is when I will play it on camera, right? I will play it on camera. I will add it to the Let's Play series once it's officially in the game. I'm not going to dabble in no beta. I'm not going to risk it. We've worked so hard. We've 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 literally been at this at this series for almost three months. Like, we're on episode 84, and we've uploaded a King of Retail episode every single day, except for maybe two weeks. Almost a three-month series going on here. So, <laughs> I kind of backed away, and I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to do that. I, I absolutely don't even want to try that. So, a lot of people here are, are pissed off. So, we're going to take, take people home here. Everybody's going to go on break. Seems like there needs to be a little bit of scheduling maintenance that need to be going on here, and I will have to do that. Um, I've just been distracted with the other store, uh, apparently. I mean, of course, right? So, yeah. Um, if you guys are interested and you want to spice up your King of Retail, maybe even start a whole nother King of Retail file, you can opt into the beta and you can dabble into the working zones if you want to. Give that a try. Give that a spin. If you don't know what working zones are, uh, basically a quick rundown. Working zones are going to be a new feature in King of Retail <clears throat> where tile base you can assign your um you can assign your employees to sections of the store that they will stand there and that they will work um and that will be the only section that they will walk to and work so for instance if you wanted to have a salesperson on this side of the store on the left side of the store you can if you wanted to have only a salesperson on the right side of the store you can um, if you wanted a specific person to maybe run a single cash register, you can. That's the whole idea of the work zones. Um, and I'm actually excited for that whenever it does become legit and into the game. I will definitely 100% play it, right? I'll, I'll use it, but I'm not going to dive out of my way and, and force it upon me, especially if it's not ironed out and there's not uh, and there's known bugs in it that really corrupt people's save files. I'm not risking it. I'll just wait. I'll be patient. And once it comes, it comes, right? Can you help me? Hey. Anyways, another thing about the beta. Um, if you guys don't know, um, they are currently right now working on adding female clothing. Okay. A big, big female clothing line to King of Retail for all you female um, gamers out there that play King of Retail. They are going to add all these different kinds and you can actually see i believe on the steam steam news of king of retail where um they show off some screenshots of the clothing for women and it's actually kind of cool it is pretty cool so i'm excited to get those in who knows dude i'll have a women's section and a men's section eventually in a clothing store but first i got to have a clothing store that works because right now we ain't got nothing we're failing <laughs> we're failing dude um but yeah another thing i want to talk about is the high traffic areas airport city um you guys are saying how like chaotic it is and i and i've seen screenshots in the discord like i said if you guys want to share some off some screenshots of your guys's store off in the discord go in the description below go 
join the discord it's very quiet i'm not very good at keeping up with the discord but i do check it from like maybe a day or two two days at a time one day at a time um and you can go into the king of retail text channel and you can definitely paste or upload your your picture of king of retail my dog is making some weird noises but yeah if you want to do that you absolutely are more welcome to um, who knows? You might even spark up a conversation with somebody else that might be in, in Discord posting their pictures of King of Rito, right? You never know. So, yeah, I just wanted to make that across and let people know for maybe people that don't know. Why is Bernard mad? Get the hell out of my store, Bernard. Even Anna Marie is pissed. Uh, so, everybody in this store is very, very high strong for good reason. Uh, for absolutely good reason. I believe everybody has a little optimism in this store, um, which is bad, but, uh, you know, they have been technically working every single day, and I know it's not good. It's, it should be changed. Um, but like I said, my, my, my intention has been somewhere else, as you, as you could probably guess, for the last week or so, so... All right, so there we go. This has been done. Um, everything good here. And I don't even have time right now to focus on trying to adjust what's going on here in the grocery store right now. I only got time and only hopeful time to, to really get it going here um, at our other store. So Stevie Johnson look has the best optimism. Tyrell, Stevie Johnson, by the way, is the, uh, or Stevie St. John is the uh, daily manager here, by the way. So we will give people days, days off where they need it. Absolutely. Looks like Tyrell, Janelle, and possibly Bernard need some days off. We got sales, sales, marketing, and it looks like next time I do come to the store, I will be the only person on the register. And of course, unless Anna Marie can use a register, can she? She can, so I can actually pivot her if I need to. So Janelle, let's go ahead and add you. Bam! <clears throat> there you go. We'll have to put her on a uh, schedule course as well, too. Tyrell, bam, you're done with that. Put you on a schedule course as well, too. But I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I'll let them have their days off so that they can gain that optimism and, and, and mood back a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and add some stuff to us. $675. Trim the fat. No, 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 no. Not trim the fat right now. But there is going to be something, I think, uh, a sign that will be created in the future on the lines for the clothing store once we get our head out of our asses there. And that is not trim the fat, but trim the thread, baby. Trim the thread, which I really like and enjoyed as well. So there we go. Yeah, I think we're done here. <laughs> we can move on to why we're here, and that is the clothing store, and will it succeed? This, however, is one, almost, yeah, one level away from, from maxing out our pantry items, which is good. And then we'll have a fully maxed out reputation uh, grocery store. Now, as you can see, we lost a lot of money that day, um, and that sucks. That really, really sucks. So let's go to the city here. So if the, if the grocery store were to operate by itself, I think it, it does more profitable or it is better, it seems like, running by itself. Because it seems like we go to the grocery store and all hell is loose as far as the corporation. So that was pretty bad. So $1,500 and $48, $1,548 is going there. Uh, so that modifier has been reset. Let's go back over to the clothing store because that's, you know, where it's at. And that's the most important thing right now. And we'll get this going on. Um, I know you guys might be like anxious and like, you know, you guys are like, oh, you know, I want him to do this so bad. And, and I do like, I, I get it. Like the, the high traffic areas, the, the airport areas. I know you guys want me to jump into that quickly. You guys want me to jump into some other, uh, work zone, but I think you guys also can understand this, right? What can you understand? Hang on a sec. Let me put this in full screen. Uh, what can you understand? So... I think you can understand that I've been kicked down by this area that I'm in, this city, this part of the town where um, where the store is at, the high celebrity, the high account. I've been kicked down um, and, and booted out of here. And I would like to open up a store back here, regroup and come back even harder. That's what I want. I want a store to reopen in this same demographic, in this same area, so that I can get that thing going and that I can like put my own middle finger to the world and be like, yes, we are back, we are coming, and I'm coming full steam, and I'm gonna hit the freaking airport hard, dude. So that's my idea. Now, we do have a few different, or a few, uh, or maybe two, 
two new articles today two new articles of his clothing maybe let me see here let me double check i think it is right no maybe just one uh which is the leather jacket yeah the leather jacket okay yes yeah. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this off here we're gonna pack that bad boy up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this black leather jacket so this is a item that we are testing out today which is kind of exciting because i i kind of like it it's kind of cool looking so yeah well, let me do that and i will adjust it to like 40 dollars, and we'll see what happens if it sells it sells if it doesn't it doesn't and then over here we will add that weird shirt hey. to the 15 percent off now i did not have a choice or a chance to to adjust my sales here but it doesn't look like jackson's coming in today so that's that's good only jen lee is going to be here for helping us from marketing we will help out in the section of this may i suggest this maybe i don't know may i suggest this looks promising good freaking call yeah so i did also say this in the comment section uh yesterday as well and i was like thank you um you know, I, I wish I could take the time right now and kind of focus in on the articles at hand and be like, what is selling? And I, I feel like I'm trying to do that, um, but I definitely can't test out as much as I want to right now. I'm kind of baby footing around how many items I want to test out and try. And I think, again, you guys understand why. Um, but in the future, once we get our feet underneath us, oh my God. Once we get our feet underneath us, I, I do believe that my ability to, ability to scale over, uh, scale these these clothing items more broad, have different kinds, have different variations will eventually come. Um, because I feel like I can pick out some good stuff. And I think picking out a few good stuff will surprise other people that might not think about picking out something like that um, in a sp specific demographic, which is good, which is actually really good. And that's fun to see. Like, it's fun to see that people are like, wow, you know what? I never thought about using that shirt or that item. Um, it's very cool that that works out for you. I'm gonna go try and use it in my store. Like, I find that really cool. <laughs> I do, I do, I find that really cool. Thanks. It's like finding the, like an Easter egg or finding, finding the hidden gem, right? So we did actually sell that, that paint splattered uh, t-shirt there. So that, that's gone and gizzo. Um, the idea is not to have this sale rack all the time. like. As soon as we sell that soccer jersey, I would like to turn that sale rack into a regular rack and put something else on it. Put maybe two new articles on it too. Kind of to spice it up a bit. And like I said, give my effort into trying to add uh, different variations and just different stuff. Who knows? Maybe I'll duplicate something. I don't know, dude. Thanks. Um, oh, yeah. We actually did get another shirt. Um, I think I overlooked it maybe. I think I did overlook it. So real quick, we did get another shirt. It was the, um, it was the, yeah, the Le Fashionable, which looks very similar to this shirt. Is that the same shirt? What? Oh, that is the same shirt. Never mind. I didn't overlook it. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. Forgive me. I thought I ordered a, a variation of the Fallout shirt, but I guess I already had a variation of the Fallout shirt. So I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. I guess I want to like get rid of this black sweater line here quickly um, because it doesn't seem like it. I mean, it sells sometimes, but not fully. I don't know. I, I'm still having it. I'm still keeping it. Charlie Brown uh, shirt still rolling. Um, this blue sweater isn't rolling, but the black sweater is here. And I think they're like the same, right? 27, 27. Yeah, they are. They're like the same exact sweater, except... Uh, they just have a different graphic on it, but one's selling better than the other. It's a little weird, right? I don't know. Let's go ahead and fast forward time a little bit here. Not a lot going on here today. Honestly, I would really love to have an event very soon. Fingers crossed, maybe we get an email. Maybe today, we'll, we'll in this episode, we'll get that hell of a grind, right? I don't know. That, what is, what am I trying to say? That was a bad negotiation, I'll be honest with you. Um, try to get that event here. I think the event here would really send us to the next level and quickly, quickly do things uh, uh, like just just go. Just basically go. Like we're done. We're here. Um, we're out of debt, right? I do believe that once we get um, once we get our reputation. Oh, my God. <laughs> once we get our reputation to high on the shirts, I think uh, I think everything will change 100 percent. Like I, I don't want to be let down. But I do believe that that's going to happen. And I just have a hunch, dude. I have a hunch. Excuse me. Then once after that, like, what are we going to do next? Well, I mean, it's either pants or shoes. Honestly, like, 
pants make sense <laughs> as much as you know shoes have the newest uh, update right the shoes have a newest update have the newest um lines uh like there's a lot of shoes now compared to there was none before how come i'm not doing the need on that guy i don't know i'm sorry um but i think pants just fits now uh with the shirts so maybe we fit we do we do we do pants next and then shoes later i don't know excuse me what do you guys think I'd like to know actually if you if you want to have a suggestion on what we should do after shirts I, I'll, I'm open for suggestions. I'm not hard set on pants. I just say I just think it would think it would make sense, right? Um, but if you guys say like I don't want to see pants dude I want to see some freaking shirts or sorry some shoes. I'll do the shoes We'll bring in the shoes and we can have shoes and shirts. We can name ourselves. Oh my fuck We can name ourselves shoes and shirts. Yeah, you know what? I, I effed it up, but I have someone at the register No I, I wrong you out, asshole. <laughs> you might be mad, but I got you, bitch. <laughs> I apologize. I'm a little rowdy today. Okay. I think I'm a little rowdy because I, uh, <laughs> I just got done streaming. So I'm a little rowdy. I'm a little rowdy. Yeah. Let's go ahead and add that. Nothing there. Hmm. So yeah, the, the black sweaters are gone. Uh, minimum storage could be reset there as well. We could have more. And as soon as we get these high um, high reputation, we got to make a move. We got to make a move and make sure that our our, our um, what is it? Our um, our oh my god, our no 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 no, stop doing that and do this. We got to make sure we have enough minimum storage once we get this higher reputation in. There we oh my god, what what was the point of that, dude? Honestly. That was such a complicated thing. I don't know why my brain was hurting. There we go. There we go. I was told that the green is the worst bar to have and the gold is the best bar to have. So I think how like color tiered it is, it goes uh, green, bad, blue, eh, purple, good, gold, fantastic. Sure, dude. Your guess is as good as mine. $108 there. Love to see it. $62 still love to see it $2,000 could 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 potentially be in our realm here Maybe maybe baby. I don't know Do that do that. Okay. No Okay closing time at the zoo. I Was also told that someone's like I Got mad. I think it was in the last episode. I got mad and someone was like I think the reason why the person or the woman or whoever did it they grabbed an article off of the uh, The rack and I was like, oh, you know, how dare you grab it and walk out the door and you you know, you don't pay for it Somebody suggested that I think what happens is that once it gets 30 minutes past your closing time They bounce no matter what they're they're out no matter what um, So you have like a 30 minute window between when you close and half an hour to get that or that customer will be have be able to check out during that time but any time after that they're like no thank you that's what i was told so irena huntley the monte baskin santiago okay so we've seen some of these people before right um three years in a pet store intended online i shop at a lot of stores i had my own little gas station but whoa, whoa 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 a college degree in cash control no 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 uh nope and nope and nope right now like just get rid of everybody there we go good okay so now we're just kind of grinding it out we need the reputation more than anything email please tourist you son of a gun he's done it our trip will consist of 20 tourists from the god damn it the pensioners all right all right they will be here at 12 p.m all right everybody lock and load this is the moment we've all been waiting for Hold on tight. Let's not forget to add the minimum storage, dude. <laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> That's happened before. I got so excited. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And then, like, you didn't order any articles, you freaking forehead. All right. So we'll do that. Now, do I want to add anything? Prediction. Prediction is I will sell that last football jersey, soccer jersey, on the 15% off rack. I will have a complete rack open to us. Two new articles will go on that rack. That's my prediction. I will put two new articles on that rack to test out. What is that going to be? It's a great question. Um, 
let's see here. Let's do... No, that's a little fashionable. Oh, baby. Um, What do we do? What do we do? What do we do for new products? Now, I'm looking at these, right? I'm looking at these simple t-shirts. These simple t-shirts would be directed towards the farmer section. And hell, even the pensioners could be could be in on that, right? The soccer jerseys, I'm not really into football jerseys. Well, wait a sec. I can't say that. I can't say that. The reason why I can't say that is because we have this soccer jersey in, I believe. Now, in the past, when it came to contract work, I have had success with the Miami Dolphin jersey here. So, with past experience, I'm going to pick that one up. We'll have one more one more rack, one more hanger, right, to use. Where am I going? I'm kind of having my eyes on Blocky here. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I just have my eye on it. And you know what? I'm pulling the trigger. I'm going for it. Let's go for a Blacky or Blocky. <laughs> Black Blocky, right? That says Blocky. Yeah, so we'll go for that. And we'll go five there, and we'll go five there. $104. Send it. You could argue you need the money in your corporation. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. Now, who's coming in today? Harper? No. Jun Lee? No. Jackson? You will come in. What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. You will come in at 12. And you will be here for four hours. For the rest of your time at this store, you will only come in for the last four hours of the day. And we will run that for as long as we can right now. So there we go. Good. Great. Grand. Let's go. Reason why Jun Lee's not coming in. I'll give you the reason why Jun's not coming in. So the reason why Jun's not coming in is because today at the clothing store could be one of our potential highest profitable days in the history of the store so i rather try to maximize as much profits as i can i swear to god if that was a level up i was going to flip out and have a high increase or high reputation on shirts going into the event day would have been incredible money is dwindling you're absolutely you're absolutely right money is dwindling and it's dwindling fast now, we do have a $1,000-ish cushion here at the grocery store. We could deposit it into our bank account here. But uh, I think this day right here, this day is a very, very important day today. This right here gives us our reputation point to give a higher reputation in t-shirts. It potentially gives us one of the greatest um, profitable days of all time, right? Uh, you could argue that we should probably be right now in the higher or longer hour range. Because if you have longer hours, you're going to probably sell more. Not saying at a profitable rate, but maybe sell more in the sense of getting more reputation out of your day. So like an 8 a.m. to midnight or 8 a.m. to close, right? Um, yes. Yes. I, I, I see that. I see it clear. And I think I might dip into that here. Depending on how today goes. So we'll go ahead and throw that on there. And you know what? It's hard for me to say. Like, I really want to sell that soccer jersey. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do this. So we have a fully stocked store. For the most part. Except for this. Fully stocked store. Okay, so the bears are actually gone. So let's... Uh, shit. You know what? I'm going to pack this. I'm going to go bam. Bam. And I'm going to slap on a new product here. We're going to slap on uh, Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins is going to be slapped on here. And then right here, I'm going to slap on 15% off the last two sweaters. Bam. There we go. We'll do that. Adjust the price slightly here on the Miami Dolphins. $27. Bam. Okay. There. People are coming in already. Great news. Pensioners should be coming around the corner very soon. Let's keep an eye out. Hey, Wide selection. Have no interest. 
There we go. Do you see him? Anybody see him? Because I don't. Thanks. Oh, baby. Here they come. All right, so back it out a little bit. A whole wall of black coming. Whole wall of black. The, it, it, it's, it's coming very well. Very well. They're coming in hot. Jackson, your hands are going to be full. People are picking up that, that sail rack there on the uh, on the black sweater. Oh, my God. It's about to get freaking... Did someone already buy a Miami Dolphin jersey? They did. And I only got five of those. Good God. <laughs> All right. So, we have four Miami Dolphin jerseys left. Here they come, dude. Jackson, hold on tight. My God. This is incredible. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. Fast forward. Only thing that we can do right now is fast forward and let the game play out. Majority of pensioners walked out with nothing in their hand. Nothing to their liking. I'll be honest with you. Big time Q issues going on here. Big money. Not really because look at the pensioners are spending way little money. There we go. Okay. So the pensioners are done. They're done already. Um, and that's that's Intel. That's Intel first. Was it a good day? No. Could have it been the best day being in business? Well, I hyped it up to be. Was it though? Absolutely not. Um, a lot of Intel there to gather. What you saw there was you saw probably over the majority, right? Over 50%. My God, the Miami Dolphins are out of control now. I knew this shirt. It did so well way early on in this series, like episodes one through 10. Thank you. And I brought it back and look at this son of a gun. It's it's selling now. It's absolutely selling. So I immediately put that to an eight minimum uh, storage unit, uh, storage thing there. I could put our other shirt on there. Let's actually put our blocky here since we have an open rack. See how the blocky does. So the, the Miami Dolphin shirt sold out in mere like half the day. Hang on a sec. Let me just adjust this to twenty six dollars, please. There we go. Comment, Jackson, move the hell out of the way. Jackson, move the hell out of the way. Thank you. So, as I was saying, Intel on the pensioners. Look, we might not have their style, one. Two, you can see the average, if you rewind the video back, you can see the average customer purchased around $20 to $30 each, which is not good. Right? That's not that's not what we were looking for, but that was should have been what we have expected. It's like, you know, you have you gotta you kinda gotta treat the pensioners like they are the farmers, right? Almost. Damn near. Damn near actually. So was I hyped up? Yes. Will it increase our basket size? Will it increase our sales for today? Possibly, right? Possibly. Um sales, yes. Basket size, probably not. But we know, Can you help me? like if it was a celebrity tour tourist in town, like like Hollywood film shooting, like that ah, man, that would have helped us so good. But now it's like you, you know we're we are where we're at, right? Money is now dwindling. Thank you. At our corporation, we do have a pocket um, backup thousand dollars currently now being processed. Uh, with the grocery store or being you know have made at the grocery store. Thanks. I can't believe that just worked. So um, We're not out of the woods yet it, it seems like we are out of the woods or we were coming out of the woods, but we are not coming out of the woods now um, We're getting deeper and deeper into the woods at the moment We need to figure out what the hell to do now again. I will say this I have high hopes because Thank you. <clears throat> I should have helped her need out there. I have high hopes because after today, we're going to get the high reputation in t-shirts. And that alone should increase our sales. That should increase our income. That should increase our cash flow. That's what I'm hoping. As soon as we increase that reputation, I'm going to check the board. I'm going to check the board before and after. Um, just to see, right? Just to see how much of an impact it really does. Okay. Have a minute. That's all right. Thanks. I'll take it. I'm trying my best here, right? I'm trying my best. May I suggest this? I would never consider buying that. We'll see. We'll see here. Hey, got a second? Uh, nobody has a second, dude. I'm trying to sell this farm on discounted merchandise. And it's not going so hot. Maybe hot. Thank you. Please pick it up. Please pick up this so I can get rid of that sale rack. 
You know what? I can technically get rid of it now, but... Because people do buy that sweater full price, so... I, I, the one thing I was just trying to get rid of was that soccer jersey, so let's actually do that. Let's, let's, uh, let's manage a discount. Let's get rid of that. So no more discount rack. It's gone. Anything else that needs to be added here? Look, the blocky shirts haven't sold a single one yet. Uh, the Miami Dolphin shirt, they were gone. They were gone instantly. Fallout shirt is officially out of here. No more of that. Cowley Life sweaters are still popping off. Even at a seven minimum storage. Let's bump it up to nine. So another thing to think about is we're spending more. Look at that. She bought that too. Um, we're spending more money every day because of our minimum storage being increased. Uh, it seems like every day. So it's a fine line, right? Um, I think you got to figure out where to where to bring in the uh, minimum storage and where to kind of not increase it, even though things are selling quickly and, and fast. Maybe not, because in the end, you're still paying at the end of the day, right? I don't know. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Maybe not. I could be full of shit. Probably full of shit, but that's all right. <laughs> these, <laughs> these blue sweaters, dude, they haven't sold. I don't know why. They're the same freaking thing as that. You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to actually remove all of these articles, and I'm going to put them over here with these ones, with the blue one over here. We haven't sold a single one. We have 10 of them still in stock. That might be our new sale right there. I know I was like, get rid of the sale rack, but look, now I have to get rid of those. And we got those on the cheap too. We got those on a discount for what it's worth. There's an accountant out there that needs my help. Never mind. Uh, there's an accountant out there that didn't get in time or get in the store on time. So we're still hovering around 2100 to, or 2000 to $2,100. Still hovering around that area. Let's see how we did. Wage is very, very low. That's good. $1,900. Okay, baby. All right. So, let's take a look. Nobody, nobody messaged us for emails. Cassandra, Landon, Tatiana. Anybody have a PhD? Nobody has a PhD. I don't know even why I'm, I'm, I'm worried about that, but I am. All right. This is the moment, guys. We order our minimum storage, right? We order the minimum storage. We trim the thread right now. This is the time we trim the thread. Wolves trimmed. Weird polo shirt trimmed. This Bob Marley shirt trimmed. We are now trimming the threads. $588 being sent to us or being sent to them. Bring that to us. Now, where are we at schedule wise? Jun Lee, take a day off. Harper, take a day off. Jackson, come in in the evening time, only the evening time, right? Let's go and see. $544 going to the corporation. We will get the reputation right now. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. There it is. Seven points available. $870 across the profits here. I think we broke even for the most part here at the $6,400 mark. Hell, who knows? We could have made it like $10 in profit. HQ. Oh, baby. Run directly to the board of flows. <laughs> How are we doing? Negative $44 corporation net income. Negative $359 cash flow. Don't get too excited, forehead. Because it might not make a big difference. Fair enough. Now, so before we jump into this here, let, let's let's do, yeah, let's go here. Let's transfer the funds over from our grocery store. We will take out $1,000 and send that off to the corporation. There's a little bit of safety net. We've now have, we now have $7,400 at corporation. This is on the verge of being maxed out, which is good to know. Um, this lady needs an upgrade, so let's upgrade her. Hello, how are you? Adds a bonus to optimism to your staff. Highly needed at the grocery store right now. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> Highly needed. Uh, what else could be added to the grocery store here? Uh, higher chance of customers entering your store out of curiosity. Absolutely. Do that as well. Fantastic. How is she doing red-wise? Wants a new challenge. Layoff. Poor, poor wages. Fair enough. I don't think there's anybody upstairs, right? We're not fooling around with anybody up here, right? I don't think we are. 
No, we are not. Okay, good. Okay, now. So, actually, before we get into this, um, after we do this reputation for the shirts and max this out, the next thing that we need to hope for is hurry, hurry, hurry up leveling up the store so that the store itself can get reputable even better. So here we go. High fashion. $354 negative is what our cash flow for the cat corporation is. Increase it. Will that show an immediate effect right now towards our corporation? Let's find out. It should draw an immediate effect to our store. Here we go. $359. So far, did nothing here. I'm crying a little bit inside. Now, let's go to our store itself. Let's see. 13. I'm going to say this. And I'm going to say this good. You ready for this? If anyone out there that is young, please look away, close your ears, and shut your eyes. What the fuck just happened? We get a higher reputation in shirts, and our profits a day drop by 20 damn dollars. Tomorrow's episode, let me know. Where do you think we are going? Are we going downhill from here? Are we going to lose it all? Or are we on the verge and on the cusp of turning our store into something incredible? Let me know in the comment section below if you made it this far in the video. I would love to know your thoughts. Till next time, do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I